Okay, so they said with diagrams, <coughs> explain the MP mass of glucose. So we're talking about the MP mass of glucose. Yeah. First of all, you define what is an MP mass. Then you give examples of those MP mass. All right. This one I actually gave two. All right. There are actually two significance. When they tell you to talk about MP mass of glucose, you actually talk about manos and galactose. They'll talk about the importance of this epi mass, okay, to the human body, okay. So first of all, let's use this diagram to define what is an epi mass. So an epi mass is actually what a diastereoisomer. When it says isomer, it's something that has been rearranged. So if glucose is having the OH on this side, a galactose, the OH is now what twisted to the other side. All right. So there's a difference at just one of the chiral center. There's a difference at just one of the chiral center. Okay. So let's define it. We said that um, epimas are actually what? A type of stereo isomer. Okay. Type of a special arrangement that differs in the configuration of a single carbon atom. Okay. So when it comes to glucose, two significant epimas of glucose actually exist. Okay. That's manose and galactose. I think I have what? Okay, sorry, I have manos here. I have galactose. Those are epimas. Just forget any other thing you see on this screen. We'll be focusing on manos and galactose, okay? So for manos, he has um you, you talk about the difference, okay? The difference is an epima of glucose at the carbon two atom. Okay, so for manos, can you see the OH here? All right, the OH is on the left, right? Left. But for manos, okay, sorry. Okay, sorry, it's carbon two, carbon two. This is carbon two. I was talking about carbon three. For glucose, is actually on the right. OH is on the right. For manos, the glucose is on the left. You get it. that's the difference, okay? So what is the structure? There's orientation of the hydroxy group on the second carbon. Okay, so the orientation actually differs between glucose and manose. Glucose being on the right, manose being on the left. That's just the difference between the structure. All right. Then for galactose, uh, galactose is an epimer of glucose at carbon four. So this is galactose. Let's spot the carbon four. This is carbon four. Beto. Okay, so this is it, carbon four. So this one, the OH is on the right. Why for galactose, the OH is on the left, okay? So this one is an orientation of the hydroxy group on the fourth carbon, okay? So it differs in glucose and galactose, all right? So what is the importance? Epimers actually play crucial roles in biochemistry. So they influence the structure and functions of polysaccharides and glycoproteins. Understanding epimers is essential for prehending how different sugars interact with biological systems. So can you see it? When they say you should what, back them up with structures. This is the best way to go about this. All right. So glucose, just know how to draw glucose. Now know that manos they actually differ at the carbon two. They know that galactose they actually differ at the carbon four. As simple as that. All right. So once you do that, I think you're good to go. All right. So that's it for the epimers of glucose.